Can you let me in? We're closed. Just a quick haircut. We're closed at six. Oh, look at me. No, no washing, no styling, just a dry cut. We open in the morning, eight o'clock. Five minutes, please. Thanks, Hen. You're an angel. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Are you all right? I hate flowers. I'd ask you in, but I've just been on the loo and it's a small flat. Know what I mean? Are you sure you don't want something to eat? No, thanks. I had a sandwich on my way to find you. And I have to be getting back to the salon soon. Have you been here before? No. I'm new to the area. I knew I hadn't seen you in the hairdressers. You're not from round here, are you? No. Is that a touch of Hungarian that I'm picking up? French, actually. French, eh? I'm Scottish. Uh, Archie, by the way. Pleased yes. to meet you. Marianne. Look. It was really a nice thought, them flowers, and I apologise if I was a bit brusque when you came to the door. It's me who should be apologising. How's your head? Well, I've had worse. <sighs> I'd best be getting back. Listen, Mary Annie. Marianne. Marianne, if you're not long in the area and stuck for something to do one night, I'm nearly always in the pub on the corner. You'd be more than welcome. That's kind of you. I'll pay for the teas. I'm a regular. I've been for decades. They still charge me for food, but they let me have teas and coffees for three of these days. Why is that? Just because you're a regular? Because I'm dying. Three months ago, they told me I had about two months left. Three teas. Every cloud has a silver lining, yeah? Surprise. 
Is this all right for you? Thanks. Mmm. Lovely. You should try it. Wine? Nah. Best not to mix. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, eh? I'd have thought there would have been a French word for cheers. We say santé. Santé? And what does that mean? Good health. Santé. Good health. We did French when I was at school a hundred years ago. I only ever remember the one phrase, and I used it in every French essay I was ever asked to write, whether it was appropriate or not. Do you still remember it? La nuit, tous les chats sont gris. <laughs> La nuit, tous les chats sont gris. That's what I said. <laughs> At night, all the cats are grey. Everything looks the same in the dark. Ten out of ten, everything looks the same in the dark. Funny the things you remember, eh? <laughs> Santé. Santé, Archie. Pennies in a stream Falling leaves and sycamores Moonlight in Vermont I see finger waves Ski trails on a mountainside, snow light in Vermont, telegraph cables, they sing and the highway and travel each bend in the road. People who meet in this romantic setting are so hypnotized by the lovely evening summer breeze warbling of a meadow love. Moonlight in Vermont You and me and moonlight in Do something. There's no rhymes in that song. It's the only song in the world with no rhymes. And do you know something else? It doesn't matter. Never mind what anybody thinks. It doesn't matter. You don't need rhymes. Hmm. Vermont must be a very special place for you. Did you live there? Vermont? I've never been further west than Blackpool. Further north than Glasgow. Further east than Skegness. Further south than Margate. I need to pee. Oh, I've made your shoes. shoes. What tissues are you? Oh, why should I bother about your shoes? This is all your fault. How is it my fault? Bloody red wine. Bloody red French wine. I 
suggested you try it last, not five. I was being polite. Oh, don't kid yourself. You were throwing it back like it was the last alcohol in London. Oh. Don't touch me. You're not responsible for me. They shout at me. I'll shout at you if I like. You're stepping in it. It's my vomit. I can dance in it if I like. You silly old man. Do you hear me? You silly old man. You have a fleck of sick on your shoe from Tuesday. Just there. Didn't know you smoked. Why would you? Not your business. It's not good for you. Surely the doctor told you that. I asked the doctor about smoking. He looked at me for a while and said, it's neither here nor there. What is that supposed to mean? It means it doesn't matter. It makes no difference. It's neither here nor there. Well, I say yes. If it's neither here nor there, then where is it, eh? I want to say something. I want to say something, Archie, and I want you to promise not to interrupt. Promise? I'm taking you to Paris on a 24-hour trip. You're a star, one night there, then back. I've booked the whole thing, and it's not refundable. So if you even think about saying no, just remember I'll lose my money. I finished. We travel this Saturday. You can stick your tickets up your arse. Bring warm clothes. What? Bring warm clothes. Snails, frogs' legs, Eiffel Towers. <laughs> Paris, eat your heart out. This is the life. Two haggis suppers. <sighs> I saw that. 
Do I care? I suppose you'd prefer that kind of thing to haggis. Every time. Can I ask you a question? I suppose you can. Have you ever eaten frog's legs? Of course. How, how on earth can you let frog's legs into your mouth? You let the haggis into yours? Haggis is a completely different kettle of fish. <laughs> can I ask you a question? You're going to say something stupid or clever, aren't you? No. Just something I was curious about. OK, then. I wonder if you happen to know exactly when you stopped evolving. Don't be ridiculous. It's true. How can it be true? It's an optical illusion. That way's down, that way's up. Look, down, up. Wrong! <laughs> I've been brought to Scotland by a raving senile lunatic. It's called the electric brake. If you're on a bike, you can freewheel coming up, but you have to pedal hard going down. Same in a car. Accelerate going down, brake coming up. You know what? I'm going to take you back into that town. What's it called? Aya? Aya! <laughs> I'm going to take you back into Aya. Aya! And have you locked up in a mental asylum. I can prove it. How? Would you believe me if I poured water on the road and the water ran uphill? We don't have any water. I can pee. Oh, no way. I'm not watching you pee. Will you pee? I'm not ready to pee. But I am. And you said the pee will run uphill? Yep. OK, but I'll watch you from the side. You see, not everything can be explained. Not everything has to make sense. How on earth? I needed that. Why are you whispering? Feels right somewhere. Okay. What are you thinking? Nothing. You. Who's your favorite author? I only read newspapers. <laughs> Who's yours? Wonderful place. 
Do you play cards? Not really. So you don't have a favourite card game? Mine's solo. Solitaire. That might be a French word. Whoever invented that game was a genius. There must only be a handful of people in the whole world, in the whole of history, in fact can say they did a better thing than invent solitaire. All done. Right. That's us then. I just need to go to the loo for a minute. I... What? I would leave it for a couple of minutes if I were you. Fear not. I'll survive. <laughs> I'll not be long. And then shall we say goodbye to air? Strings tight. Yes, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Archie. Susan? Been away. Just overnight. Oh. Hospital? No, no. Abroad. Abroad? Wales? <laughs> no, Scotland. Scotland? Yep. Just one day? Hardly worth it, was it? 
Oh, look, I'm going to the pub. Do you fancy coming down? I'll give it a miss this time, Susan. Get an early night. OK. It's karaoke night again, so anybody in the audience who isn't deaf will be well pleased. Delighted, in fact. <laughs> See you, Archie. See you, Susan. Aye, just then. Listen, I never said sorry that you lost your deposit on the Eurostar thing. I hope it was worth it. Good. I am tired. Uh, not tomorrow, no. The uh, thing is, I have a hospital appointment for some treatment. Yes, treatment. A and I'll be fine afterwards, I always am, but it's always better if I have the next few days in my own I'm a rubbish company. No, no, I'll be fine by the end of the week, so why don't we meet up in the park on Friday or something? Aye, aye, I'll drop into the salon on Friday morning and we'll see what's what. Right. Right. <laughs> yes, and bon nuit to you too, Marianne. Uh, listen, has that haggis been giving you indigestion? Hello? Looking for Archie. Oh, he's gone. Gone? Gone away? You could say that. Archie died last Monday, love, in hospital. We cremated him yesterday. Are you a relative? A friend? You don't look as if you are, but. If you're selling something or we owes you money, you might as well turn around and go back where you came from. Are you a friend? Not really. I don't know. Maybe I am. Was. Would you like a cup of tea? Well, I'm going in now. Again. Okay, if I sit here? Sure. <sighs> hey. 
What's that you're reading then? A play. A play, eh? Whatever next. <laughs> Who wrote it? Chekhov. Is that a man or a woman? A man. What kind of stuff? We shall pass on forever and be forgotten. Our faces will be forgotten and our voices. And most piercingly of all, no one will even know how many of us there were. He didn't write comedies then. <laughs> Actually, he did write comedies. Comedies were really all he wrote. <laughs> I didn't used to know that. Tell you what, love. They make a lovely cup of tea in here. 